Because of the peculiar situation Nigeria finds itself today, and also because of the inefficiency of the previous measures taken against circumstances like this, I felt that the government should introduce food stamps as an interim measure to address the eminent food insecurity in the country. Today, even in the National Assembly here, the labor was there, and they were not talking about anything but the calling on the federal government to address this matter. This program is practicable and more efficient than disbursing money. Because if you give people money, or the, the, the cash system, the cash whatever they call it, is the system that I really don't support. Because we have tested it, especially during the Buhari regime, and it was immense with massive corruption. Even now, you don't know how it's going to be. Because when you say you have a data bank, and people collect billions, in fact, to collect fake bank, uh, uh, data or whatever, to build data, and they keep on sending money, and you don't see people even acknowledging that money. But if it is food stamp, it's normally given to you to go and either buy gari, go buy rice, go buy a semovita, or a specific food stuff. You go in, into a designated points, present your food, stuff, uh, food stamp, and in return you are given food. That way, there's some kind of control, and it will ensure that it gets to the needy. Like in the civil service, you can cut it, for example, from level seven downward are those that can benefit from food stamp. You give them food stamp commensurate to their need, and then there are non-income earners in all our places. You can use your counselor, you can use uh, your, uh, your name, you can use your BVN you know, to register. And then you go to a particular place to register in your own ward, and then you collect stamp for food. And further control can be implemented by saying, for example, if you are giving for one month, then you must use it. If the month lapses, that's it. And as I said, there are so many experts already, they have started uh, calling me to say that they are willing to even volunteer to provide expertise, uh, expert uh, advice on how to uh, implement it. We have to be optimistic. Is this idea good? The answer is yes, isn't it? Yes. So then you are talking about how to do it. If you have an idea of identifying the thieves, then identify the thieves so that the money will not be given or the food stamp will not be given to the thieves. We have to move forward. We have to be positive. As I told you, historically this happened in the U.S. since 1939. And they continued you know, doing it. And it's better as we agreed now. Instead of giving people money, give them food stamp. Start with that. After that, of course there will be loopholes. Of course there will be people that will try to sustain the system. But the main objective is bigger than the small, small problems that come with it. So I want you to write positively about it, not to start talking about you will steal the money and all that. Because that is not, I, I particularly, I'm a very optimistic person. And I feel discouraged when people think pessimistically. We need to solve the food problem in this country. If it is not that people, the cost of you know, uh, food items is high, no Nigerian would be asking for anything. You understand? In, in order to solve this problem, then we have to be positive. You have to say, okay, if we are to do this full term, this should be done in order to help make it efficient. But not to say, oh, they will steal the money again. Of course they will.